I asked on r slash shrimp tanks on Reddit if you guys have had any experience with Amano shrimp eating fish. So I went ahead and bought some minnows and I'm going to go and see if I can record some of my Amano shrimp taking them down. Alright, so while we wait to uh, film some of the Amano shrimp hunting down their new minnows, I, I want to go over what my setup was. So that's where they were originally. That's the 40 gallon breeder where they took down my betta and some of my white clouds. It's not a shrimp tank anymore, obviously. It's a paludarium that I haven't finished. Um, for a while after being in there, they were in this other tank, but they started hunting down some of my uh, white clouds again. So I moved them into their separate tank so I can go ahead and uh, experiment with breeding. They've been in this tank for about a year and a half now um, so let, let's go, let, I'm gonna try to explain this as best as I can. Uh, so this is, um, 72 by 32 by, eh, 15 maybe. A anyway, this is a five and a half gallon tank. So these top ones are all, uh, Neocardinia, you know. Just some cherry shrimp, just other type of shrimp that I'm experimenting with. But this bottom row are the Yamano shrimp. So um, whenever I start seeing larvae like stick up to the glass, I'll turn the light off and I'll shine a, a flashlight like with my iPad and I'll, because they're, they're attracted to the light, so I'll, t I'll, I'll turn off the, the main light and turn on just one source of light so they all swim towards it. I start a siphon and I put them in this tank. This tank is um, at 1.035 specific gravity. Um, instead of saying like 1.0 whatever, I'm just gonna say the, like the last two digits, so this is 35. Um, and while they're in here, they, they eat like green water, which I used to have cultures of. Uh, Tetracelmus? Tetramissiles? I don't know what... I don't know how to pronounce that. But I used to have cultures of those. I stopped because my other tanks had green water growing in them. So I just went ahead and used that. And well, when I don't have green water, sometimes it just stops happening. I, I feed some spirulina powder. So... I count the days that they go through. So they'll start off, I'll leave them two to three days in the saltwater one, just because I feel like they become, I, I feel like those, the ones that stay in fresh water a little longer, uh, have a higher chance of living. I, I don't know why. It ma makes no sense to me, but it, it works. And um, I move them here. Here they stay for a certain amount of days. I drain all of the water out and I net all of them and I transfer them over to this one which is at 25 and then I do the same thing over here to this one which is at 18. Um, after about a month I can move them over here to the other final so uh, freshwater grow out tank. They usually stay here because when they come in here they're still kind of microscopic so when they're in here um, I, I don't really see them because they're hiding and all of the stuff that's in there. I make sure they have a lot of algae to eat and grow. And by the time they're a good size, I'll net them out and they're ready to sell. I only really sell to my friends and a local uh, fish store that's around here. Um, I'm not producing many. Um, there is a lot of die-off. I only get about 10 to 15 um, shrimp that survive, that make it out of the thousands of larvae that they have. So I went ahead and uh, went, went through the water because I was in the middle of a water change. And I caught one of them. And here he is in all of his glory. Just a tiny little guy being a little guy so yeah if you guys have any questions about anything else that I think it'd be pretty cool to like go further in debt than I already have